Hello, long rodders, and welcome back to everything fly fishing. We got another exciting tying video for you. We got the March Brown Nymph. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down here at the bottom. There should be a little red thing. Click on that and subscribe. You don't want to miss any of our upcoming tying videos. We are going to do the mergers, the nymphs. And we started with midges, so go, make sure you go back and check all these out. Have these flies in your box and you'll be covered under any situation. And, and like, give a thumbs up, and comment and tell us if there's any flies that you think we should cover. Now, this is a great nymph pattern and uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Stay to the end and we'll discuss a little bit more about the March Brown Nymph. See you at the end of the video. Let's get right to the vice. So we're tying on a 3X 14 Nymph Shank hook. And we're using a light tan tying thread. Now, throw your, start your line at the eyelet and run it all the way back to the bend in the hook to lay a thread base down. And then you can head cement it, or if you don't want to, you don't have to. Now we're going to use this feather. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I got a lot of stuff I've had in boxes since I was a kid. Um, and I don't always have a label, but I thought it would make a really nice tail material for this March Brown. You can use pheasant tail, or if you can, you know what it is. I think it's turkey. I just don't think it's the turkey we're used to using. It's a different part of the of a turkey feather is what I think it is. If you can let me know in the comments down below what that is. But I use disparate tail, but like I said, it doesn't make, you can use pheasant, I use pheasant tails for years. I just wanted to, you know, maybe somebody could tell me what it was. Now, we got some dark tan tying thread. It's just plain, I think, 70 denier tying thread. You might have some thicker, you won't have to, but I had to double it because it's pretty thin stuff. But if you have thicker brown, dark brown thread, or even sewing thread, it's probably thicker, you can use that. And you just do, tie that in, and that's going to be your rip. We're going to use some of this light tan dubbing. As you can see, it still has the guard hairs in it. This ain't dry fly dubbing. This is rabbit dub, dyed rabbit dubbing with the guard hairs in it. You want to have, that's what I use for this, and it's a light tan. The reason why I tell you this is because the guard hair is sticking out when you dub this fly will make it look like gills or any little things on the back of this fly that might be there on the actual fly. So that's why you want to use the stuff with the guard hairs. Dry fly W don't have guard hairs. It's just the fine stuff. Now you can take that thread and start ribbing it. And I spin the thread two strands to make it one and you rip that forward make sure you wrap it the opposite way you did your dubbing so you make us you can see the ribbing better and it makes a stronger fly now this is regular nymph skin you can buy it. It comes to be about, I don't know, about a quarter inch wide. It's already made. It's in like a long strip. We're going to show you this because I'm tired of using that paper stripped off nymph skin. You've seen that. You can buy it this way too. 
And you can go back and draw on it if you want. I didn't. I was going to and I forgot to do it. But I got it out of the creek and was like, dang, I should have drawn. But you take a black marker and add your own detail. It's a way to customize your fly a little bit better with this plain nymph skin. Now, we're going to grab our lively legs, and if you don't want to use lively legs, at the end of the video, we'll tell you how not how to do it naturally and not use lively legs. But, you tie it right behind the hook. You want to put them front legs just maybe a quarter of an inch away from the eyelid of the hook so you can do, finish your head at the end of it. Then go behind the front legs, go all the way back to the beginning of the front of the uh, second set of legs, a couple with thread wraps right behind the second set of legs. And then you're gonna, you know, that you don't want very, you don't want to keep going back on them to the third set. You just want to go right behind the second set. Now you're gonna pull up on the back set of legs, and that the rest of the rubber legs that's left, cut off the back set of legs as close as you can to that second set. And then you're gonna go to the front. You're gonna pull up on that little tab. Pull it up and cut it off as close as you can. Now for the thorax area, we're going to use brown ice dubbing. And I like using ice dubbing on the thorax area. It really makes these flies work. You want this to be kind of a loose dubbing. The extra fray will make it more look more buggy. More little legs in the thorax area. And you want to wrap this up. And I wouldn't wrap any more too much up around the front of the uh, past the front set of legs. You're gonna need that to form your head. Now you're gonna take your nymph skin, pull it over, and tie it down right behind the eyelet. And then pull it back on the nymph skin and cut it off. Sometimes doing this takes a little bit of finesse. That you don't trap a leg when you're doing a thread wrap and you get in the nymph skin. So just be a little patient. You'll get it to trap you'll get it tied down and pull back cut off. Whip finish it and form your head at the same time. I wouldn't add too many after you put the cut the skin, the nymph skin off. I'd start uh, whip finishing it right away, and I'd say put two sets of whip finishing on it, sets of whip finishes in it to form the head, and then you put head cement on it if you want. I say if you want because some people believe that if you use head cement, the fish can smell it, and that's some of the reasons why we don't catch as much fish where a worm they can smell. That's up to you if you want to use head cement. I use two whip finishes and so therefore sometimes I don't use head cement. Two sets of whip finishes, no head cement. I also like to take the head cement across the nymph skin. It makes it really shiny. Or you can put a UV dubbing on there or, or UV treatment on there and harden it and make a humpback shell. That works really well too, and uh, we're working on getting a clear UV finish for a fingernail polish that's UV activated. But you put whatever you want on there, and but I like putting uh, that on there to make it more shiny.
Okay, now we're done. Let's take a closer look at this fly. What do you think? Let's, right now, let's go take a closer look at it. Hey, long riders. I hope you like that video. Uh, now, if you weren't, didn't want to use the live legs, you could just dub it with the same dubbing, wrap the, nip, wrap the nib skin up, tie it off like we did, then just take a needle and pluck out some of the dubbing to make it look like legs. You could do it that way. And you could just use darker rabbit dubbing or just the same color dubbing for the thorax and pick that out, and then that would be all natural. You wouldn't have any of the UV. Synthetic. Some people want to tie them that way for more picky trout. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But uh, I wanted to use lively legs again. Um, these lively legs really work. Um, they're amazing how the fish love them. They look so realistic. I think is why they work. Um, if you couldn't, if you wanted to tie stone flies, you use all three. And I cut the back ones off doing mayflies. But if you've been fishing, if you haven't fished these lively legs, tie up this. We did this. We did a lively legs, uh, stone flies. We did uh, lively legs. We just did two. We went to the sock and just used. That's all we used was an olive lively legs, and just slayed them. Um, it just works so well that it's one of Tracy's been using for white deer. We got a video coming up of that. She caught uh, a bunch of fish. Um, white deer we weren't there more than an hour because it was cold again it still hasn't warmed up here in Pennsylvania it's cold um, but she had that's all she's used she caught I don't know how many at the sock and how many on white deer already just only thing she's been using is that all of lively legs because it just works so well that I mean that's what she wants to use because it just rocks everywhere we go she just slays them with it so that's about, that's probably all I'd have to tie up is lively legs olives, lively legs brown, lively legs yellow, and fill her box and she'd be happy camper because they just worked that well. So, I'm sorry that we did the last couple flies had these, you know, a lot of you guys are like, I don't like rubber, and once you start adding rubber and synthetics, then it becomes a lure. Um, that's your opinion, I don't, I just go where it catches fish. That's why I'm fishing, is to catch fish. Um, I told somebody, one, an old guy told me he's been fly fishing for 50 plus years. Told me that once in a while he puts a, a regular spinner that bait fishermen use on the end of his fly rod and catches a lot of fish because the action of the fly rod adds action of the spinner. Man, if that's what you want to do, do what you want to do, you know. Heck with what everybody gets on your case about. They give me a, case, a hard time about every fly I tie since the beginning of my channel and whatever you know that's your opinion but I'm here to catch fish and these flies catch fish the lively legs flies catches lots and lots of fish they work make sure you go back and check out well I'll tell you what right here that's I'll put a link to the old video the bio on this side a link to the old video of the lively legs golden stone which I got tie some more up because ever since we've been fishing with them, we have to have them in our box. So now it's the all of the lively legs, the golden stone lively legs. It just seems to be a pattern that the lively legs always have to be in our box. Anyway, you guys keep watching our videos. Make sure you always like and comment on our video.